Hi guys, so I haven't had like a yard sale haul or anything in a really long time. Um, honestly, I haven't really been going to many yard sales. I have been stopping at like, ma like maybe one a week. I just, <sighs> one Saturday rolls around, I kind of just want to sleep in because I'm so exhausted from working all week and you know how it is. You just kind of want to sleep in sometimes and it is definitely getting chillier in the morning. So yard sale season is probably, you know, leaving us, which upsets me because I feel like I didn't really get a whole lot of yard selling in this year. Uh, but I do have a thrift store haul. I went to a couple of Goodwills over the course of a couple weekends. Um, typically I like going on Sundays, but it upsets me because my Goodwill doesn't open until 12 o'clock um, on Sundays, so I kind of have to wait around all morning until I can even go into town. So some weeks I just don't even want to bother. It's like I'm just going to stay home because I don't even feel like going out of town kind of thing. Sometimes I just like doing it to get out and then like after I'm done shopping I'll like stop at Starbucks and treat myself to a drink because <sighs> during like the fall winter season the salted caramel mochas I absolutely like die for them. So they're like my favorite Starbucks drink ever. Ever. I was joking with my boyfriend we stopped at one on the way to the mall on Saturday and um, there was a lady like taking out trash out the back door and you could kind of like see inside and I was like I wonder if they got like things of salt just like in there I was gonna say like hey can you sneak me some salt out the back door like I would just does anyone know what kind of salt they use I tried making my own version one time using I think I used like pink Himalayan sea salt or something like that and it just that was not the right salt. <laughs> it just did not taste right whatsoever but if anyone knows exactly what kind of salt they use in those you'll have to let me know because when that time comes when they're like oh we're all out of salt it's just so depressing like why can't they just keep the salt all year round you know what I mean. Oh, but that's a lot of ramble for just talking about some Starbucks, but um, I do have a collective thrift store haul. I think maybe one thing came from a yard sale, and then I'm also going to put my Ipsy bag in this video as well because I am super late with that, so I figured I would just kind of make a collective little video, so I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to start with the thrift store stuff first just because it's taking up the most space on my tabletop right here. So I did at the thrift store buy these Clark's flats and they're just a suede kind of like light brown flat. Very cute, perfect for fall and these were $4.97. They seem to be in pretty um, good condition. So I bought those. I found this purse and I didn't really know anything too much about it. It still had, yeah, it still had the tag on it. Um, it was never used. It's by a brand called LP Blue, Linnea Pell. But I thought it was really cute and it felt nice. Um, it's not real leather. It's definitely not real leather. It's a, um, Faux, but it has these like rose gold pyramid studs and this tiny little rose gold chain. It kind of had like a, a punk rock kind of feel to it. Um, and then when you open it up, I love the lining. It's just like polka dotted. It still had its paper and stuff in there as well. So I thought that was really cute and it was also $4.00 and 97 cents so if anyone knows anything about that brand i haven't had a chance to really look it up i just thought it was cute and the fact that it was brand new i was like you know what for five pretty much five dollars i was like i'm gonna go for it so i got that um i actually found a top when i go to the thrift store i don't really look at clothes too much i just i'm never in the mood to try on clothes like Ever. So I really like I have a lot of clothes but I tend to wear the same things all the time just because I'm lazy when it comes to clothes shopping like I just I don't like trying on clothes it's it's an ordeal for me because I feel like I don't look good in anything but I was just like browsing through the tops and I'm a feeler like when I'm shopping anywhere 
any place I like to touch things so when I'm like browsing the tops I'm like feeling the fabrics and like when something really soft or just different comes about I'm like ooh, what's that and I found this and this definitely felt amazing um, it's by the brand J Jill and it's just this floral long sleeve blouse it's kind of got like an asymmetrical slightly hem at the bottom and there's just like the tiniest little peephole in the back there but this feels so incredibly nice and I just thought it would be nice for fall since it's long sleeved and it just felt like amazing just really nice quality in my opinion I don't think I've ever owned anything by J Jill so I'm not sure uh, what their prices usually range I thought this was kind of pricey for Goodwill for a top $6.50, but obviously that's cheaper than, you know, if you're going in the store and buying buying a top. So I got that. I thought it was really cute. I tried it on and it looked good. So yay for that purchase. And then I got these at a yard sale on Saturday. I went to a church sale and these were $1. They're just black leggings. And I like wearing these to bed. They have, I don't know if you'll be able to see, there's like a bit of a design to them, like almost like a chevron-y kind of, I don't know what kind of print you wanna call that. But these are super duper soft, like really, really soft. I don't know where they came from originally, but they're by a brand called 151. So again, I don't really know anything about you know what they retail for but I paid a dollar for them so I was like you know what I'm gonna get those to wear to bed this winter and they're, they're so soft I really really love how they feel and okay I also this was a fun find this here is a vintage Halloween horn I don't know what year it's from but this was also a little pricey for $2.99 for what it is but it is vintage it's obvious um, it's creepy. It's this creepy like little black cat and it's a horn. I'm gonna squeeze it right now, so apologies. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> it sounds kind of like a dog toy. Um, but here's the thing, like I was decorating, I got out all my Halloween decorations and everything like that and most of my decorations are you know, more up-to-date kind of things, but on the weird side, kind of like the folky side, I guess you'd call it. Um, but I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a vintage section of Halloween decorations in my house somewhere, because I do have a couple of vintage Halloween products that I can put out, and I was thinking of decorating with this. But the thing is, I'd have to take it out of the package. And I feel like if I take it out of the package, it loses its kind of like, nostalgia a bit since it is still in the original package so I'll probably keep the package um just in case I ever do want to sell it if you know I can just put the package back with it obviously opened though just in case you know someone wants you know the little artwork tag and everything like that the people who collect stuff that's still you know in the the packagings but because like if I'm decorating with this I don't want to sit it out in the bag kind of thing so I haven't fully decided if I'm keeping this or not um I may I may not I know people love vintage Halloween decorations so I could easily sell that um but I kind of want to keep it and decorate with it so I haven't decided um I also found these vintage Lisa Frank Valentine cards these were 99 cents they are brand new in the box so freaking cute I remember getting these in school, so that was a blast from the past. I do plan on selling these, but obviously I'll probably wait until closer to um, February. That way, when people are actually looking for Valentine's Day cards, then you know maybe I'll be able to sell them. And I like that. Like when I'm out thrifting and doing stuff like that, I'll try to pick up at least one or two things that I think I can sell to kind of like make money back on any money that I am spending of my own. It's just a kind of a way to save money and, um, you know, just for fun kind of thing. And then I actually found three books. I love reading. And now that the weather is getting colder, it gives me even more of a reason to just get lost in a book. I don't really have like favorites. I rarely ever 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 go to a bookstore and actually buy a book. I like 
going to thrift stores and Dollar Tree and just places where I can find books for super duper cheap because I don't usually keep my books. So when I can find books for like less than like a dollar or less, I'm super happy because I just, you know, redonate them. So I don't like to spend a lot on them. So basically whatever I'm buying is just something that like, you know, interests me in some sort of aspect, not something I'm really seeking out because it's obviously going to be whatever I'm really just going to stumble upon kind of thing. Uh, but I did find this book called Celestially Auspicious Occasion, Seasons, Cycles, and Celebrations. And this seemed kind of interesting. It just goes on about, um, just the different moons, Egyptian beliefs, like where our holidays kind of came from and all sorts of things like that. I thought it would be an interesting read and that was 97 cents. So I got that. Um, I also got this book called Final Girls by Riley Sager. This seemed interesting reading the back. It seems kind of more like on the suspenseful, maybe like horror kind of thriller. Um, I don't really read a whole lot of those, but since Halloween is coming, I was like, ooh, I can get into this. Um, it sounded really interesting, kind of creepy. So I think this didn't have a price because I got this at a different Goodwill, but their books are definitely less than a dollar. So um, I picked that one up to read. And then I also got this one called Not That Kind of Girl by Lena Dunham. This was originally from Target and it just interested me. I read, oh, it looks like they bought it at Ollie's for $2.99, but I definitely still got it for cheaper than that. Um, I don't know when I opened it up. I just like, there was one sentence that I read and I was, it just made me laugh. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this to, to just read for like a, a fun kind of read thing. I don't know if this is a memoir or what exactly. I think so. I think it's like somewhat of a memoir. So I got that to read and I am on Goodreads if anyone wants to follow. Um, yes, I'm, I'm trying to do the um, read 50 books by the end of the year. I'm not quite sure what book I'm on. I don't know if I will make it, but I'm still trying. Um, and then that's it for thrift store, um, products. So now I will show you my latest Ipsy bag. Now I'm kind of late with my Ipsy bag because I had cashed in some points for some just extra goodies and the one wasn't in my package, so I had to email them and they re they resent the product that was missing. So I was waiting around for that. So definitely Ipsy's customer service is awesome. They did replace the product that was not in my Ipsy bag. So kudos to them for, you know, correcting the situation. I was really surprised though, because it was a product that I used points to get and it was sold out, so I, I was kind of surprised they had one available to even send me considering it was sold out. So I'm not complaining, I just thought it was just really weird. Um, but this was the bag and it's super cute. It is black with these little eyelashes and then it has like a gold strip down the bottom and a little gold um, zipper on the tassel. Now the products that were not in my bag that I used points for. And points, if you are not familiar with Ipsy, you get points anytime that you um, leave a review of your Ipsy bag, like, and your points add up over time. And you will get points for referrals as well. And I always have my referral link down in my description if you're interested in subscribing. Um, so you get points from referrals and from reviewing your Ipsy bag. So with those points, you can cash them in for just like little extras. And sometimes they have really awesome extras and sometimes not so much. So I'll just like wait around until I see something that sparks my interest. And one of the things I got was this Juno and Company microfiber velvet sponge. So this is like a beauty blender, but it's made out of microfiber instead. So I want to open this up because I want to feel it. I'm curious. I've never had one like this. I'm guessing this is like a new thing. Oh, that's really soft. That is like super soft. It's so 
fuzzy and soft. Oh my gosh. So I'm really excited to try this out and see how it works. If anyone has used one of these before that's made out of like the microfiber material, you'll have to let me know how it was, like if it's any good. And this one does have like a slanted um, tip to it. So I'm excited to try that out. I thought that was interesting. And then the other product I used with points to cash in was this fragrance oil. This is by a company called Defines Me. And the fragrance name is called Clara. And it says notes of lilac, violet, hibiscus, lily, and musk. I thought this was like the cutest little box. So again, I'm surprised that they had one of these. They could send me. Um, makes me wonder then, like the stuff that says it's sold out, is it really not sold out? Like why, why did they do that? I don't know. But the bottle is really adorable. Just a really little, small, cute bottle. And it is... Oh, it's actually a roller ball. That is cute. I was expecting it to be kind of like a like a splash on kind of thing, but it is a roller ball. And that smells really nice. It's very just very feminine smelling. I definitely smell what is that floral note? The lilac. Yes. Oh my god, yes. I absolutely love that cuz I love lilac. Oh my god. Mm, that smells so fantastic. I'm so happy that I was able to have that replaced because that smells so, so good. I'm very excited about that. Now, as far as what was in, actually in my Ipsy bag, um, I got two of these avocado masks by Botanic Farm. They are both the same mask, and there was two of them in the bag. So I got those. Love doing face masks, so they will be put to use. So inside of my Ipsy bag, ooh, that's really pretty. It's a like very vibrant like pink inside. What's that tag say? It says rules were made to be broken. That's what the old tag says. So it looks like the first thing is a makeup brush. Ooh, this is pretty. I love the bristles on here. Let me get this out of the package so we can see it better. Ooh, that's nice. I don't have a brush like shaped like that. What do you use this kind of brush for? It's like a... My dog's licking herself. My goodness. Tasha! Anyway, if anyone knows what this kind of brush is used for, it's just kind of like almost circular, but with a flat tip. I'm not exactly sure, so you'll have to let me know. But it is by Luxie, and it looks like it's um, in partnership with DC Comics. I'm thinking this is Har like Harle Qu Harley Quinn. What's that say? Good night. So that's really cute. I like that, but I'm not quite sure exactly what this type of brush is used for. So if anyone knows, let me know. It's very soft. I like it. It's pretty. Next, I got a Catherine Natural Cosmetics. Coffee Talk Espresso Eyeshadow. It's in like a little cardboard box like this. And here is the shade. So it is a brown. It's an espresso. Oh, that's very, very pigmented. Super pigmented. Right there's a the swatch, can't miss that. So we got that. There is also a nail polish by Pretty Woman. And it's in a box like this. Now there's a plane going overhead. I swear, I have my windows open. There was someone mowing the lawn earlier and I just like opening my windows when it's nice outside. So there's probably all sorts of sounds coming through my microphone. So I apologize for that. But this nail polish, what is the shade name? I'm not sure what the shade name is. But it is a just like nude color. Just a nude. So I don't even know if I have a nude nail polish. I tend to go for like bright, bright colors. So maybe I'll use it. I don't know. I like I like my nails to be bright. Um, and then we got a I have never had anything by this brand before. Um, I always want to call it Morph, but I think it's pronounced Morphe High Impact Highlighter in Blend the Rules. That's awesome because I've never had anything by this brand. Or actually, I think it's in the shade Spark. Yeah. Sp 
spark. So let me open this up. I just messed up my nails trying to open this. Dango, dango. So let me do a swatch of this. Here's the packaging. Looks like this. Ooh, that's really pretty. Very soft, velvety. Oh yeah, that's really nice. And there's a swatch of that right beside my, there's a swatch of that right beside that brown eyeshadow. That is really, really pretty. So I really like everything that was in this Ipsy bag. I'm usually happy with my Ipsy bags and I'm extra happy about this one because their customer service was so awesome about replacing that missing perfume oil. So, so overall, I'm really pleased. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize if you don't like when things are kind of mixed together. I know I'm sometimes that way when I watch videos. It's like, oh, I just wanna watch this part or I just wanna watch that part. So I do apologize if that upset you. It's not something that I, I really like to do, but like I said, I was behind with um, showing my Ipsy and I still wanted to get it out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.